Hi everyone, it's Josh here from Teach Yourself Websites. Today I'm going to take you through how to create a child theme from a WordPress theme. So the reason you would want to do this is because when you want to make uh, changes to any templates, uh, any code or anything in the in the theme itself, you want to be able to do that in a way so that you can still update the theme and have your changes um, persistent so they, they stay there um, after the update's finished. And the way you do this is by creating a, a child theme which uh, references your original theme. So I'll give you an example on my blog. Um, basically I have uh, a theme installed. It's called 2012. And what I'm going to do is create a child theme of the 2012 theme so I can make some changes. So an example of the changes that you might want to make is, um, say, take my, my blog page, for example, you'll see how it actually displays the full post. And what I want it to do is actually show just a snippet of text instead with a link to continue reading, which will take them then to the full post. So uh, what you need to do is create a child theme uh, to basically take the template that this runs on and make that minor change to it to, um, and to be persistent um, when, when I update 2012, if, there, if the, the themes developer ever, ever makes any updates, any changes to this. So to make a, a child theme, what you need to do is um, Take a look at your, your themes directory in your WordPress installation. So you'll probably find this on your, on your web server. So you'll need an FTP program like uh, FileZilla to, to pull this down. And um, if you just copy down the entire themes directory, um, which will contain every theme that you've installed. Uh, so on my, my blog here, I've got the 2011 theme, 2010 theme, the 2012 theme, which is the one that I'm currently using. And what I want to do is create that child theme of the 2012. So what you need to do is create a new folder and call it what you want to call it. So I'll just call mine uh, 2012 child. And we'll eventually be pushing this particular directory back up to the server. So to create a, what you need to do is create a, a style.css file. So I'm just going to open a, an editor. This one's called JEdit and I just find it's a really easy um, programmer's editor to use. So I'm going to save this, this new file. Um, to the, the child directory, so 2012 child. And I'm just gonna call it style.css. So style.css is your main style sheet for the theme. And it's also how WordPress detects whether uh, this theme is a, a child theme of another theme. So to do that, you need to put in a comment at the top of the theme. And to do this in a CSS file, what you have to do is a forward slash and then an asterisk. And to close the comment, it's an asterisk and then a forward slash. And anything that I write in between here will be considered a comment. Now WordPress looks at this very first comment and it tries to detect uh, a certain number of fields. So the first thing that it wants to know is what the theme's name is. So we decided we we're going to call this 2012 child. Then it looks for a description. I'm just going to call it my custom theme. Uh, and there's a couple of other fields like author. So I'll put my name in there and the version of this particular theme. So what we're doing is creating a, a separate theme, but this theme is going to use the contents of the parent. And to tell it to use the which parent it wants to use, what we have to do is define the template as whoops, 2012. 
So this name here under template should match the directory of the parent. So it should say 2012. Now if I save this, what this is going to do is then overwrite the, the style.css from the parent one and use its own. All right, so I'm going to upload this now to my server. I'm just using FileZilla and I've got, let's go back a directory there. We've got our 2012 child. I'm gonna to navigate to the themes directory on the server and I'm just gonna right click and upload that. So that'll upload the directory and the new file style.css. Okay, so to activate the child theme, you go to the dashboard in WordPress, go to Appearance, and then Themes. And you'll now see we've got a new theme there. It doesn't have a display image, um, but we've got 2012 child, and we know it's by me. And what I can do is just click on Activate there. Okay, so now we've got our child theme active. Uh, I can now update this 2012 theme without causing any um, any harm to the site, without make, um, without disrupting any of the the changes that I'm, I want to make in this child theme. So you see on the on the front end here that when I refresh the website, everything looks a bit funny. So it looks like it's all unstyled. Everything is um, is still being displayed, but. Uh, the the content doesn't look like it used to before so even if I go to my blog page um, you'll see all the posts there but it's all just plain text and looks looks kind of weird so to fix this what you need to do is go back to your style your new style.css file in your child theme and you put in what's called an import tag an import tag is uh, basically tells the style sheet to import the styles from the parent theme. So to complete the tag, what you have to do is tell it where the style sheet is that you want to import. And this one is, uh, it's, it's relative to the, the current directory that you're in, so you need to tell it to drop down a directory, and then go into the 2012 directory, or whatever your parent theme is called and import the style.css from that directory. You can close the single quote and the bracket and you finish the line with a semicolon. So if I save that there and go back to our, our FileZilla, upload a new, new copy of that style.css And once that is complete, you can go back to the, the front of the site and you may need to hold it onto the shift key while you click on refresh so it flushes out the, the styles. You'll see now that it's, it's re-importing the, uh, the styles from our parent theme, which is exactly what we want to do. Okay, so I want to end this video with a bit of an example of why you should uh, make a child theme and how powerful it can be. So I've got my blog page here and each you'll notice that each entry is actually the full entry. So it's got all the text and how exactly it would look if you were to look at that individual post. But what I was uh, wanting is to create an entry where the text is just a snippet of the text and it has a little uh, link to say continue reading after it. So to do this, what we need to do is uh, alter the, the template that this page uh, uses to display the content. And in, in this particular theme in 2012, um, this will be slightly different for every theme, but you'll, you'll be able to use this technique to, to um, alter your own theme. So in this uh, particular theme, what the file I need to override is called content.php. And this is responsible for controlling how posts get printed. So I'm going to open that up in my editor. And I've 
I won't go through the, the exact specifics here um, because it does alter from, from theme to theme. But what I need to do essentially is make a copy of this content.php and put it in my child themes directory. So I can do that by just uh, control C if you're on Windows or command C if you're on Mac, then go to the, the child directory and press Control V or um, Command V if you are on Mac and then open that up in your, your editor. So now I've got an exact copy of this and I'm free to start altering it. And because I've placed this content.php in my child themes directory, what will happen is when WordPress goes to look for that file, it'll check my child theme first. If there's a file there, it'll use that. If there isn't a file for whatever that I'm overwriting, it'll use the one in the, the parent directory. So you can do this for any of the files in your theme um, and you can make safe um, alterations to that particular file in your child theme. And then you can, uh, you'll be able to update that file in the, in the future when that theme gets updated. So I've, uh, just to, to make it short, I've, um, I've created, I know exactly where I need to change this. I'm going to add something to this if statement here. And uh, basically it's just a little bit of PHP code. I'm going to put a, a bit of a comment so I know that I've um, made this change in the past if I ever come back and look at this. It's just good practice. So I'm to show the excerpt instead of uh, instead on the blog page, instead of the full post. So what I need to do is add another condition here. And I'm going to, just to make things easier, I'll copy this, this first one and paste it in here. And we'll be able to actually change this. So I'll call this an else if. And I want to say if it's not a single post, which means if this isn't the individual post being printed then I can use the excerpt instead. So previously it was dropping down to this else statement and it would print the full content. So I've got my excerpt in there. All that's left to do is put in a new paragraph and a link to the post. So to get a link use the permalink and I'm going to close that A tag, put in continue reading, dot dot dot. Close the A tag, close the paragraph. And that's pretty much it. That's the, the code change that I want to do. Uh, actually, we can get rid of this, uh, this second PHP tag. All right, so if you don't, uh, if you don't understand this, uh, this bit of code here, don't be too concerned at this stage because this is uh, just a, an example to illustrate how you can overwrite a file. Okay, I'm going to press save here and now we can upload our file to the server. What I'm going to do is push that file up to the server. Okay, so if we go back to the site I'm on the blog page and currently it's showing the, the full text. So we want to see if our change has been made there. If we click on refresh. Okay, excellent. So we've got our, um, still got the title. The full text has been cut down to a snippet. And I've got my continue reading link there, which takes me through to the full post. So that's a, a one example of, uh, of a template change that you could make. Uh, we'll be going through a few extra ones uh, in the future, but um, this just gives you an idea of, of how powerful this can be for um, making changes to your theme. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll um, see you next time.